I'm Daryl. And I'm Renee. And for today's r and w Adventures, we're checking out the Binder Park Zoo in Battle Creek, Michigan. The zoo is broken up into two main parts. There's the East Zoo, which has mostly stuff from North America. Some stuff for the kids, a petting, not a petting zoo, a, where you can feed the goats. Yeah, goats. It has the uh, uh, prairie dogs, which I always like. The carousel and the uh, sky tour thing, which, you know, extra fees and cool, but not what I go to a zoo for. Right. So, it's nice. We would recommend generally of not spending much time at the uh, top part of the zoo there. That East Zoo area isn't... Uh, really a good attraction compared to the Wild Africa, which is where we're at now, obviously, with the Africa site. And this section is like a totally different park. Yeah. It is well-themed. The Even the staff is happier and Absolutely. better here. Just the whole experience is so right. much improved. To add to it though, you can choose when you want to go from the East Zoo to Africa, you can choose to take the trek, which I like to call the long walk to Africa. Um, there are some steep hills. It does warn you about that. And then, or you can choose to t um, take a tram. And the, the tram is probably the easier way. It is uh, handicapped accessible, all of that. The wild Africa portion, is a little bit more challenging. It is like a nature trail that's mm -hmm. been converted to a zoo. So there is dirt roads, dirt roads, the gravel, there's some up and down, there's boardwalks. It is a lot of fun and has what you thought was the best encounter, which Absolutely. was the feeding of the giraffes. Definitely. The gem of Wild Africa really is the savanna behind us, and our recommendation is you have to eat here, you, you know, food service, they don't let you bring anything in. So come down here, do the uh, trails and everything, and then have your lunch on the uh, savanna restaurant here and enjoy the views. Well, this is going to wrap up our visit to the Binder Park Zoo. Be sure to check the website for the hours. I think it is open sometime in May till the end of October. Also, make sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. We've got a lot more stuff over there. Hit the subscribe and bell icon if you like what you see. On the other side, though, we're going to set a playlist for all of our attraction videos. If you want to check out more of the cool stuff to do in Michigan and beyond, make sure to check out that playlist. Ah!